This tutorial builds on content from the Data to Analysis video. If you haven't already done so, you should view that first to gain a basic understanding of data sources and domains. Domains provide a range of benefits to meet rigorous application needs. For example, the ability to rename fields to user-friendly labels and categorize data into fields and measures, as shown in the Data to Analysis video. The ability to categorize data into sets and also blend data from multiple data sources and tables, as will be shown in this video, and other capabilities, such as being able to pre-filter values before consumption by end users, add calculations, which can be shared across multiple views, apply data level security, add language translation bundles, and optimize query performance with the Jasper Report Server in-memory caching engine. We'll take a look at additional domain capabilities by creating a new domain that will join information from multiple tables. I'll set up the name of the new domain and the server folder location. I'll then select a sample data source for the domain. I'll then open the domain designer and view information from tables in the sample public schema. First, I'll select a table that contains sales transaction data. While this table contains basic information on which product and customer IDs were associated with each transaction, it does not provide a full picture for my analysis needs. I want to extend my analysis to include customer segmentation based on geography and other demographic data. I also want to analyze performance by product brand and other product related attributes. Now that I've selected the tables that contain required information for analysis, I need to define how these are joined together to provide meaningful results for end user consumption. Domains can automatically join the fields between tables when they contain common table keys. Joins can also be defined through the designer UI. The UI contains a left and right side panel to select fields from various tables to let me join common fields. Both the customer and sales tables contain a customer ID field. These will be joined. Doing this lets me associate geographic and other customer attribute information to sales data. I also want to join product related and sales data. By selecting the product ID field from each table, I can join these together. I'll take a moment to fine tune some of the fields that I want to see and some of their attributes by selecting the display tab. I can categorize data into sets which helps to organize content, making it easier to navigate data for analysis. For example, I'll start with a high-level set that I'd like to call Sales. I can then create another level of categories by dragging the data that I want to see under the Sales tree. The tree will be shown to users when they view this domain from an ad hoc view. So I'll rearrange content and edit labels to be more user-friendly, and also remove certain fields that are not required for analysis. Note that the system has already defined numeric fields as measures. I'll do a little more preparation work here by removing unneeded fields, relabeling, and fixing attributes where needed. For example, the system designated customer ID as a measure, but it really is a text label and should be defined as a field. Once I've completed my display settings, I submit my domain definition to the server. Let's now take a look at how the domain will appear to an ad hoc user. The 
you can see the sales set and the next level of categories for the display settings in the domain. The ad hoc view can then be defined to see all or a subset of the data. The selected sets and all their associated fields then appear in the selection panel where the user can drag and drop items to explore and visualize data. Note how the data panel contains additional information, in this case different customer attributes that were not available alone in the source sales transaction file. Now that you have seen how to blend information across multiple tables from a single data source, let's take a look at virtual data sources. These let you combine data from multiple data sources. The server lets you define virtual data sources. These are created by blending data from any number of existing sources that are defined on the server. I'll go ahead and enter a name, description, and folder location. The UI then lets you select from a list of existing data sources. The first source contains sales and other customer and product information, as we've seen from our prior domain creation work. The second source contains additional customer service related metrics. Once I create the virtual data source, I can use the domain designer to select the virtual data source. I then have access to all the data. I select the appropriate ones for my domain. You then see a list of all the tables across the virtual data source. Here you see the data source name as part of the list of tables. I can then use the domain designer to select the appropriate tables and fields. To learn more on domain capabilities, such as derived tables, calculated fields, and security filtering of datasets, refer to the online learning portal and product documentation.